Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis, and in today's video, I got some more pin mill to show you guys. So let's check them out. All right, so the first pin that I'm gonna show you guys, this one I actually got at a thrift store. So my wife and I, we were visiting a thrift store and whenever I go to thrift stores, I always go to like the glass counter to see if they have any Disney pins like in the glass counter or you know, video games and different things. But this pin was like sitting on the shelf behind the glass counter and I was like, you gotta be kidding. There's a Disney pin here and it was a jumbo Disney pin. And the one that I got was this Star Wars Kylo Ren helmet pin which I couldn't believe. So let me go ahead and show you a close up of it real quick. So here's a close up of the Kylo Ren helmet pin. On the card it says Star Wars at the top and on the bottom it says limited edition. But I would consider this like a jumbo pin. It's a good size and it's like a heavy duty pin. And it's made of like, I don't know, like a pewter, but I was just in shock that I found it at the thrift store. Still can't believe it, so that's just crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the backer card real quick and show you the back. So here's a close-up of the back of the pin. It has two pin posts, has the Mickey Waffle pattern, it says Star Wars right there on the right hand side. This is from 2018 and it's limited edition of 4,000 and then it has the Star Wars copyright on the bottom. So I think that this pin is really neat. I like how big it is. Like I said, I think it's like a jumbo pin, but the coolest part is this bottom piece. It's like a hinge. I would call this like the nameplate portion of it and it flips down and you can kind of stand it up like if you had a table or something. So you don't have to display these like on a pin board or on your lanyard. You can like stand it up at your house somewhere like on a table or something like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't really collect this series. I do collect Star Wars pins, but not this series in particular, but I think it'll be a great trader and I cannot believe that I found it at a thrift store and guess how much it cost me. It cost me $4.98. On the back of the card, it says that it was $17.99, brand new at the park, so awesome find. If you ever go to thrift stores, always check behind that glass counter. You never know what you're going to find. All right, so let's check out the next pin real quick. Let's open this one up. All right, so this pin is really cool. This is an older pin, and this is Mickey and Minnie, and they're dressed up like as different couples. And this one in particular is Minnie. She's dressed up like Ariel, and then Mickey is dressed up like Prince Eric. Let me go ahead and show you a close-up of it real quick. So here's a close-up of the Mickey and Minnie dressed up like Disney couples. So you got Minnie over here. She's dressed up like Ariel. I love the little flower in her hair right there. And her face is really expressive, so I really like that. I like all the colors that they use with the green and like the little aqua here. And then you got uh, Mickey over here looking like Prince Eric, so that's really cool. And I just think overall it's a really cool pin. And on the back of the pin, it has one pin post with two nubs, it has the Disney copyright 2008, and then it says Disney China. So on this pin, since it's an older pin, there is no like waffle pattern or anything, it's just a straight gold background. So I really like this pin. I just think it's something different, something that you don't see all the time. And this is part of a series, so there is other pins in this series where Mickey and Minnie are dressed up like different Disney couples. There's a Beauty and the Beast one, there's an Aladdin one where they're kind of like on the carpet flying through the clouds. There's a Sleeping Beauty one, so they have different pins in this set. So I think we're going to try and collect the whole set. So this is the first one that we got, but I just think it's an awesome pin and definitely going into our collection. Alright, so the next pin that I'm going to show you guys so this pin right here, okay. So this one is part of that same set that I showed you a couple weeks ago. It's part of that Valentine's villain set, so they call it Valentine's. And this is the Maleficent pin, and this pin is awesome. Check this pin out, I'm gonna show you a close up real quick. So here's a close up of the Maleficent Valentine pin. I love the sparkly embellishments right here on the green, so I think that looks awesome. And I like how it has the purple here, and like the purple stripes through the horns, and it just kind of depicts Maleficent. So it has a heart because it's a Valentine's Day pin, and then they kind of change it a little bit so it's more villainous. So I think this pin is awesome. Let me go ahead and show you the back real quick. So here's a close up of the back of the pin. On the right hand side, it has the Disney pin trading logo. It says 2015. On the left hand side, it has the FAC. And on the bottom, it says it's limited edition of 340. And it has one pin post and it has the traditional Mickey waffle pattern that goes all the way to the ends. And there is something special about this pin. So if you guys see it, let me know in a comment down below. So I think that this pin in particular for the whole Valentine set just came out amazing. Um, I like how it really depicts Maleficent because it has the horns up here. So like right off the bat, you can tell that this is a Maleficent theme pin. 
Um, some of the other villain time pins, it's kind of hard to make out who the villain is, so it's kind of fun to try to guess and try to figure it out. But this one, hands down, you could tell this is Maleficent. And I really like that it's a lower limited edition, so it's only limited edition of 340. So there's only 340 of these pins made, so I think they're really hard to find. But I'm going to try and get the other villains that I do collect in this set. So I want to try to get Scar, Ursula, um, Jafar I want to try to get. Um, and Gaston, I wanna try and get Gaston. So this is definitely going into my collection. I'm a Maleficent collector. All right, so next up, check out this pin real quick. All right, so this is another Mickey and Minnie pin, but this one is a little more kind of spooky themed. And this is Mickey and Minnie, and they're on the Haunted Mansion ride in the Doom Buggy, and they got a hitchhiking ghost tagging along with them. So let me go ahead and show you a close-up of it real quick. So here's a close-up of the Haunted Mansion Mickey and Minnie pin. I think it's super cute. You got Mickey over there on the left-hand side. He's kind of kissing the hitchhiking ghost. And you got Minnie over there. She's laughing, having a great time. And then on the bottom, it says the Haunted Mansion. I like how it has this kind of like brick effect right here. So it kind of gives you that like, you know, feel of how the Haunted Mansion looks when you go see it at um, Walt Disney World. So I just think this is an awesome pin. And let me go ahead and show you the back of it real quick. So on the back of the pin, it has one pin post with two nubs. On the left-hand side, it has the Disney pin trading logo. It says 2008. And then on the right-hand side, it says copyright Disney, China. So this is an older pin, 2008, so it doesn't have the Mickey waffle pattern, just the flat gold background. So I really like this pin. Stacy and I do collect a little bit of Mickey and Minnie, um, especially when they're on different attractions. And like that pin I showed you a little bit ago when they're dressed up as different couples. Um, we just think that that's really cool. But I really do like this pin. The Haunted Mansion is one of our favorite rides at Disney World. Um, so we always have a great time on that. And it's kind of like a relaxing ride. We can go on there and kind of just relax for a little bit. It's inside, it's air conditioned. So I just think that this pin is awesome. And I love how Mickey and Minnie are depicted in this pin with the uh, hitchhiking ghost in the background. I did try to like put my hand over it to see if it was like a glow in the dark pin, but it wasn't. So that's kind of a bummer. I think that would have kind of enhanced it a little bit if it was a glow-in-the-dark pin. But overall, I think it's an awesome pin. All right, so moving right along, we're going to check out the next pin here. Okay, so I was waiting for this pin for a little while, and I was really bummed out that I didn't get it because it was from 2018, and it's a Disney Cruise Line pin, which my wife and I and her family, we went on the Disney Cruise in 2018, and it was a Halloween on the high seas, which was phenomenal. Man, I missed the cruise. Cannot wait to go on another Disney cruise. But this is the 2018 Happy Halloween, Halloween on the High Seas Disney Cruise Line pin. Let me go ahead and show you a close-up of it real quick. So here's a close-up of the Disney Cruise Line Halloween on the High Seas 2018 pin. On the very top, I love the backer card. The backer card is amazing. It's very um, Halloween themed, which I love. But on the top it says 2018, it has the Disney Cruise Line symbol. It says Happy Halloween, and the pin is depicting of the uh, spooky tree that's in like the main atrium on the cruise line, which is so beautiful. If you haven't seen it in person, you gotta see it. Um, and then on the bottom it says Halloween of the High Seas, and this is a limited edition pin. Uh, let me go ahead and take it off the backer card and show you the back real quick. So here's a close up of the back of the pin. It has two pin posts. It has the Mickey waffle pattern that goes all the way to the ends. It says Disney Cruise Line on the very bottom there, and this is a limited edition of 3000. So I'm really happy to finally get this pin. Like I said, Stacy and I went on the Disney Cruise, and we're gonna link a couple of those videos right up here for you if you guys wanna check out um, some of the cruise videos that we did when we were there. Um, God, we had such an amazing time. But this pin is awesome. You know how big I am with backer cards and if they're themed with the pin that I love. So the backer card on this looks amazing. It has like little um, bats and pumpkins and it looks kind of spooky. So it's very Halloween themed, which I love. Um, this piece right here actually glows in the dark. So this is a glow in the dark pin. So I think that that's really cool. Kind of adds that extra element to the pin. And overall, it's a beautiful pin. Definitely gonna be going into our collection because this holds a special memory for us. All right, the next pin that I'm gonna show you guys, check this one out here. All right, so this is a villain pin. So this is one of the villains that I do collect. And this is a Disney Employee Center villain pin. And this one is of Captain Hook. I love this pin. Let me go ahead and take it out of this plastic real quick and show you a close up. So here's a close up of the Disney Employee Center Captain Hook pin. On the very top of the card, it says Disney Employee Center, so that's how you know it's from the Employee Center. But I just love the way that Captain Hook is depicted here. He's got that sword and he's kind of looking all villainous. He's got Tinkerbell trapped in that lantern. Um, I think the colors on this pin are very vibrant, like the red in his coat really pops. Um, I love that feather in his hat. I just think those feathers are so cool. 
And I like how they used a different tone of brown in his beard to kind of give him that kind of scruffy look. So I really like that, I think that's amazing. But let me go ahead and take it off the backer card and show you the back real quick. So here's a close up of the back of the pin. It has two pin posts. And then on the top, it has the Disney Employee Center logo. It has Mickey right there in the circle. And then this is a limited edition of 250. It has the Disney copyright and then the FAC right there on the bottom. So I think that this pin came out really well. Um, a lot of the Employee Center pins have been coming out and they've been looking really amazing. Especially the pins in this set and the villain set. Um, but Hook is a villain that I do collect. He's not one of my main villains. But, um, you know, if I like the pin, then, then I'll collect it because I am a Pirates of the Caribbean collector. He's not part of the Pirates of the Caribbean, but he is a pirate, so I feel like it kind of goes along the same lines. But I think overall, the pin came out amazing. Um, I really like all the colors that they use. They're very vibrant, especially like I was talking about the red on his coat kind of pops. Um, but I like the size of the pin. I would consider this almost like a jumbo pin. It's, it's a good like three inches high. So overall, I think it's an amazing pin. Definitely gonna go into my collection. All right, so next up, let's see what we got in this package. Okay, so this pin is beautiful. Um, this is a Disney soda fountain pin. You guys know how I love stained glass pins. So this has a stained glass element to it. And this is the Ariel Disney soda fountain stained glass pin. Let me go ahead and get it out of the plastic and let me show you a close up of it real quick. So here's a close up of the Disney soda fountain Ariel stained glass pin. So I think this pin is beautiful. Um, I was surprised at the size of it. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. It's a little bit on the smaller side, um, but I think for the size of it, I think the details came out really well. I think Ariel's face looks pretty good, and I love the um, purple stained glass shell that's behind her. I think that's just an awesome effect. I love stained glass pins. And her hair looks really good. It looks kind of like it's floating in the water, so I think that's awesome. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the backer card and show you the back of the pin. Here's a close up of the back of the pin. It has two pin posts. It has the Disney Soda Fountain logo, which is like these little ice cream cones right here. And then right here, it says Disney Soda Fountain. It's hard to see, it's really tiny. And it says limited edition of 400. Now I wanted to tell you guys that with this particular set, these have been faked. So you gotta be really careful when you're, when you're getting these. So always make sure it has the FAC, which is right here on the top right hand side, if you can see it. And then always make sure to cross reference that with the backer card that it comes on. If you're trading for this pen and you're not gonna get the backer card, I would be a little bit wearier about it. But let me go ahead and show you the backer card real quick. So here's a close up of the backer card and on the right hand side it has the FAC number. So make sure that that FAC number matches with the FAC that's on the pin. So the last four numbers on this is 14182. Then on the back of this pin, you can see the FAC and the last four numbers are 14182. So the backer card and this pin are going together and that's one way that you can tell if it's authentic. So I think that this pin came out beautifully. You guys know I'm a Little Mermaid collector, Ariel collector, so and I love stained glass pins. So this kind of checks off a lot of the boxes from my personal collection. But I think overall the pin came out really nice. Like I said, I love the stained glass effect and I think for the size of the pin, cause it is a little bit smaller, especially for Disney soda fountain pins, it's on the smaller side a little bit. Um, I think the details in her face came out really good. A lot of times with the smaller pins, you lose a lot of the details. Like, you know, when I was showing you those hidden Mickey pins a couple videos ago, you just lose a lot of those details. But with bigger pins, they can, they have more space to add in those details. But overall, awesome pin. Definitely going into my collection and I'm really happy to have it. All right guys, so we're down to the last package. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one for you. I can already feel it's in a box shape. So it's a box package, any guesses? But I'm gonna go ahead and open it up slowly for you. You ready? All right, here we go. So I don't know if you guys can tell already, but this is a Star Wars pin. Let me go ahead and turn it around. This is the Star Wars Jumbo pin for May the 4th Be With You from 2019. And this is the Darth Vader pin. Let me get it out of this box and show you a close up of it real quick. So before I get it out of the box, I just wanted to show you the box real quick. So it says Star Wars, it says Disney Parks. It's got Vader right there with a cool backer card. And then on the bottom, it says limited edition. All right, let me go ahead and get it out of the box now. All right, so here's a close up of the May the 4th Be With You 2019 Star Wars Darth Vader pin. Uh, this pin is amazing. I mean, it's a huge pin, definitely a jumbo pin, and I just love the depiction of Vader. He's got that red lightsaber looking like he's about to force choke somebody. I'm like, oh my gosh, this pin is amazing. So I really love the backer card that it comes with. It has like stormtroopers in the background. It's got the Emperor right there at the top. And then on the bottom, you got Kylo Ren right there, another, and you got Captain Phasma. 
So I just think the backer card right there is awesome. Um, so overall, I just, I mean, what a beautiful pin. So this pin has a pin on pin element. So the Darth Vader portion is attached to the back part of the pin, which is that red portion. Let me go ahead and take it off this backer card and show you the back real quick. So here's a look at the back of the pin and you guys can just tell by the size of it in my hand. This is definitely a jumbo pin. It has three pin posts on the back. On the left hand side, it has the FAC. On the right hand side, it has the, uh, the Disney copyright. This is a limited edition of 1000. And then it says Star Wars right there. And it has the traditional Mickey waffle pattern that goes all the way to the ends. So this pin, I think, is just amazing. I mean, I'm a Star Wars collector, um, Darth Vader. So I'm really happy overall with the pin. I think the backer card right here, like I was talking about, it has all the different characters. I think that that's really cool. I think the depiction of Darth Vader just looks amazing. Like he's about to force choke somebody. His cape is like blowing in the wind. So I think that's just amazing. It's a pin on pin element jumbo pin i mean how can you go wrong my only issue with this pin is that the whole pin is screen printed and like i've talked about in my other videos i like screen printing okay if it kind of if they have little bits and pieces of it to kind of like enhance the pin but not the whole pin because i just get nervous that over time that the screen printing is going to start to wear off of the pin and then it's going to start coming apart so i'm not really sure about the longevity of screen printing. So it makes me kind of nervous. So overall, I'm really happy with this pin and this is something that's definitely gonna be going into my collection. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this pin video. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys had a favorite pin from this pin haul, let me know in a comment down below. If I had to choose my favorite, I don't know, it's probably gonna be this Star Wars Jumbo pin. I mean, this pin is just amazing. I mean, how can I? How can this not be my number one favorite? Um, I really did like that Employee Center hook pin. I think that pin was awesome. And how about the thrift store find for $5 for the Kylo Ren helmet pin? I mean, can't beat that. And the Ariel soda fountain pin with the stained glass effect, that one was really beautiful too. So there was a lot of great pins, but I think this one's gonna take the cake today. But thanks again for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time. Bye guys.